Last time on Rockin' the Oldies. Okay, so this will give us a little bit of extra experience here. Molecular control. Mr. Barrett, if you would be so kind. Lobster Man Technician. Work around. Why don't you... Yeah, he's gonna shoot you in the back. He's gonna reaction fire. And he's gonna miss twice. Greetings and salutations to the denizens of the CyberDog Nation, the Redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the peoples of YouTube and the interwebs. This is Ivan Dogovich rocking the oldies with the 87th episode of Let's Play Retro XCOM Terror from the Deep. In the last episode, we destroyed a few small subs and shot down a small lobster man sub in the Indian Ocean. We will be continuing that tactical mission and continuing to advance the game. So, let's get started. I've got the map view up here. And if we click in, we find our friendly Lobster Man Soldier number one and Lobster Man Technician number two. Both of these guys are just going to kind of help us out a little bit, look around, etc. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of use them for MC training. We have the enemy small submarine there, and so we will continue to clear that, that out. We don't know exactly what's in there, but we'll find out. So let's see here. I'm done with you guys. Let's move. Okay, Barrett is available for MC training. We're going to be doing a bit of that. Chibi can come out. He can help me uh, support a sniper. Do like a bog can come out and help me scout. All right, who else we got back here? Wolfie. Everybody is sporting some of the latest in melee weapon technology. We've got the thermic lances and the um, and the vibro blades as well as a lot of people carrying MC disruptors so I think let's see who's here Stendler why don't you come up over here check this area please yeah I want to be careful with this kelp they can hide in the kelp that's never good all right Barrett you're good, move forward. Who's this? This is Plodo. Plodo did some MC work there. Nightmare's available for MC work. Good. We've got Rowana up here as a support looking at. Okay, let's go next turn. Ooh, nice. <laughs> uh, so we've got a uh, lobster man in the sub that's wanting to mess with these guys down here. So he tossed a couple grenades. To little effect, um, the shellbacks are pretty resistant to explosives. So we've got Mr. One and Mr. Two. So let's get some more training here. Who's this? Wintergrave. Would you do me the favor of trying to control him? All right. Mr. Technician. Hi there, dude. How are you? What I want to do... I kind of want to cluster these guys up. Um, I do want him to throw his gun away, though. Throw it over there. Thank you. And I think that... No, oh, lucky this guy's weapon's over here. It's safe. Okay, Lobster Man Techie Boy, go there. That's fine. Alright. Um, Wintergrave, you... Let's see, Nightmare. You need more time units, so let's get you some molecular control. Whoa, come back here. Molecular control practice. Alright, nothing there. That's fine. Um, who do I have got here? Pluto. Let's get you some practice here. Get a couple attacks in. Come on down. Alright. Nope. Nothing there. Alright, Barrett, what do you think? If not, we can always just kill that guy. Which would be fine. Which would be fine. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, so this guy's a little wounded from that um, grenade. Sonic Pulsar. Our Pulsar Thrower Lobster Man in there. Okay, so we got two Lobster Men in there. Perfect. So, to kind of make things a little easier, um, I think I'm going to toss a couple stun rounds in there because, well, yeah, the other option is just to control them all and then stab them all to death. And I think that these four guys may be everybody. All right. Chibi, why don't you put me an aim shot on at least one of these jokers? 
Okay, so we got one out down for the count. Um, Ellis Kid, why don't you come put one down on here too? Uh, name shot. Okay, I like it. Kazuma, come here. And I would like you to send a stun round down there. You have 52, you got 37. Alright, let's just see if it get if it hits. It may hit or may not. Mm, it didn't. And that's okay. Alright, Wolfie. And get you some, some shooting practice. Shooting practice. Girl, you need some more more practice. It's kind of been a thing for you, Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> needing uh, marksmanship practice. I'm not quite sure what's up with that, but uh, yeah, I seem to remember there being being issues that uh, have I've always needed a little bit. I don't think Lace, you're going to have enough time. Nope. Alright, Lace, just step back there for a second. Alright, Stindler, I want you to push my sight out a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I had you had you doing scouting work last time too, didn't I? All right. Okay. And w one of the things I love about these um, these aliens is I don't know what's wrong with their throwing kip capability. So one guy threw and landed right where he was aiming on the one lobster man, and the next guy threw a grenade and he didn't only he only got like halfway. I don't know what's up with that. I see so many missed grenade tosses by aliens it's kind of pathetic um, not that I'm really complaining it's just kind of a funny observation all right Tom Zhang hey dude we need to get you some some experience yeah you you are uh, in your new incarnation you need some some chance to do some promotions all right so we'll get you out there next turn right, I think I think I'm good for now uh, how about Barrett do you have any more time you do it Two more mind attacks. Let's do it. I doubt that you will be able to control him from across the map. I say that, and then I lied. Okay, so this is a technician, and he is... Um, oh, he's carrying a, a rifle. Well, he doesn't need that anymore. Throw that away. You need no rifle here, sir. Throw there. Just check the whole sub out. Okay, now walk out. Come closer. All right, good. Okay, so we've got three under control. Yeah, I was gonna say he he wouldn't probably get it, and the first thing he does is he gets it. Nice. All right, next turn. Okay, so we have another guy throwing a grenade from over there. Hmm. And I think he threw it at our at our friendly lobsterman, Stindler. You see those two guys. So where's this guy hiding? There he is. In the darkness. All right. Mr. Barrett, sir. What say you to this possibility? Hmm, nothing, huh? All right. Maybe target time for that guy. Okay, Pluto. Actually, Barrett, you have another attack. Okay, come up, Pluto. I want to take this guy. Good. Technician man. Come over here. Good. Good. Alright, that's what I want. I want those guys clustered up. Kazuma, you have another stun round. And I would like to get a nice stun shot on those guys. I'm going to step Wolfie out of the way and Tom out of the way. Kazi, you need 52, so take a knee and give me your best aim shot. <laughs> you hit the guy in the way. Do I have anybody else with... Oh yeah, go back. Who, who are you? I got somebody with a stun launcher. Where were you? Um, Alright, go back through here. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Where? Where? Barrett. Oh yeah, you've got one. Yeah, twenty-five time units is not enough. No. 
But I will have you try to get this guy with your mind control one more time here. Nope, nothing. All right, so we're going to do some target practice with that guy. Stindler, I kind of don't want you in the way, so come back over here. All right. Tom Zhang. Take a step this way. Look that way. Come all the way across the map. Give me name shot. You got good marksmanship. Nice. Nice, Wolfie. Let's get you doing some marksmanship as well. 55%. Nice work, you guys. Nice work. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everybody. Alright, so Barrett has my other stun launcher. And I think I want to stun those techs because they can give us a little bit of information if we interrogate them. So let's just go next turn. <laughs> So the one that I hadn't controlled did a melee attack on the one I did control. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get eyes on that guy. How about Stindler? Can you come find them? Find him for me. Mmm. Mmm. I think he went back in the sub, actually. And I'm willing to... gosh. I think... Barrett. Throw your launcher over here, Tom. Go ahead and set that down. Pick that up. Hmm. Give me your best aimed shot to here. I'm not sure if that got anybody or not. No. Nope. Oh, he went out the back. Okay, so I'm going to have to have Barrett toss him another round. Okay. And at this point, um, I may just... I may just decide to um, just kill him. We've got at least one technician captured, and we will capture more. Alright, Tom, pick up this round, put it in there, and put that in your backpack. Alright, who have we got over here? Chibi. Come on down, Ellis, come on down, Kazzy, you're out of rounds with that, so why don't you just, well, put it in your backpack for now, and why don't you, can't fly, can't move up when you're crouching, interesting, okay, come on over here, let's go next turn, door's opening, yeah, Stindler, let's get you down there. Okay, moving up on the sub there. Just check the side. I'm pretty sure there's nobody else on the map. He says confidently before getting shot in the back. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Yeah, alright, Tom, come on over here. Give you a line of angle here. Ellis Kid, let's get you over here. Yeah, we've got to make a little more progress before we can spot over there. Okay, can't see anymore. Who did I bring up? Uh, Kazzy, one more? Yeah, Kazzy. Kazuma. Come on over this way. Oh, now you got him. Okay, so he is outside. Um, I think I already moved Tom enough that he won't have anywhere to go. Tom, yep, yeah, okay. He's walking around. Ah, uh, he's coming out to visit Stindler. Alright, Stindler, why don't you do me a favor? Nice. Okay, and that was everybody. Alright. Killed two, recovered two dead ones and three live ones, then that's okay. Alright, out of the Indian Ocean. And a little bit of MC training for everybody. Some more progress. Looking good looking good let's go ahead and get on back to base get on there all right so i'm just going to check out rindog prime really quick see where we are at making some great progress with our aquatoid corpse over in the corner conehead just keep keeps asking for that so we've got it going yeah alien origins don't know much about that so far that's fine 
We are manufacturing stuff for sale, okay. We've got a lot of money, okay. I think we're kind of short on Zerbite. Um, all right, let's uh, see how everybody's doing here really quick. Those guys that we took out. All right, Barrett is up to 76 time units, which is excellent. MC skill has gone up to 46, which is excellent, excellent. See, once you get your MC skill like up past 50 to 60, they really become super effective. So these training missions are all helping with that. Kazi is up to 77 time units, 24 kills, looking good. Rowana, 29 kills, looking good. Pluto is bumping up a little bit to 26. Nightmare um, up to 26. Good. Time units up to... Se okay, nice. Wintergrave is up to 76 time units, so now he'll have three attacks with the MC control up to 34. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. All right, who else went out on there? Stindler, seven kills now. Looking good. All right, uh, Chibi. Two kills. You're heavy now, dude. Nice. And your your accuracy continues to improve. Conehead. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Dulakaba went out. I don't know if you got an assist or a kill on there. Five kills. Looking good. Wolfie. Three kills. A bit of improvement there. Your strength is going up. Your, your accuracy. Your accuracy is really not bad. 61. That's not bad at all, lady. Uh, Lace, I don't think you got a kill that time around. Uh, Bam, didn't get a kill that time around. Ellis, I think you might have got an assist. You're at three kills. Heavy, now you are definitely a heavy. You a heavy. Um, don't need the slash though. Looking good. Jay Perro and Tom Zhang. Still need to get you some experience, though you did make your promotion to Able Seaman. So, even though you didn't get a kill, you got an assist, you got a bump in firing accuracy, you got a bump in health and strength, so you actually got promoted. Congratulations. Your new incarnation. All right. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Okay. Um, what are we manufacturing over here? Particle disturbance sensor. Right. Now. Whoa. We have two mantas. That's what I need to do. I need to transfer a manta. We need to transfer a manta out of one of these places. Barbazir Deep. I would like one in Meridian East. I have an empty slot in Rendog Prime. So these guys, let's see, are the both equipped? Mantas both have a weapon system on board. Okay. Manta 3, you are going to Meridian East. So Meridian East. Let's transfer. Oh, right. I remember what I'm doing. I'm waiting for the Ajax. Never mind. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, Ajax. Let's go. Here we go. That's what I'm waiting for. Quantity one. I think that'll work. Okay. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Base. Radiant East. Equip sub. Barracuda. Change that to an Ajax. The reason I do that is the Ajax is cheaper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell or sack my Barracuda here. And if I had sold it with the Sonic Oscillator on board, I would lose up to $200,000 if you get what I'm saying. It's not economical. That Ajax launcher costs 16000 so by selling it, I only do that. Now, the cool thing about that is I will no longer pay $600,000 a month to keep a Barracuda in there because I will transfer a Manta over to Meridian East, Manta 3, transfer, it's going to cost $1,500, okay, and go. Let's see how long that's going to take, base information, transfers, that'll get here in 12 hours. So. Um, that will be good, and I can do the same in Marbazir Deep, I think. Marbazir, uh, Marbazir Deep has a Barracuda, and we're paying for that, so we could build another Manta here, 
in Burgo, Maine. Let's take a look at our stores really quick. How much Zervite do we have on hand? 200. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Yep. Let us go ahead. Hmm. Let's take a look at what the, the stats are on these guys again. So we've got the Manta. And he is 5,600 for his speed. His damage capacity is 400. Fuel capacity is 30, and acceleration is 10. Um, the Barracuda, the Hammerhead. This is a little slower. A lot more damage capacity, though. So we could technically maybe use these guys going after some of the bigger ships, but he's a little slower. And he eats so much more Zerbite. I don't think I'm ready to build a hammerhead yet. So I don't think I'll build that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so let's go ahead and build another Manta. We don't need all you guys. Oh, only one tech there. Right, let's go ahead and build a Manta. Hello, Manta, 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 Manta. Where are you? Are you at the top? No, you're not at the top. There we are, Manta. Make you, you take 85 aquaplastics and an ion beam accelerator, magnetic nav, cool. Start production. Let's get you going. Get you going. All right. Lots of guys there, and that'll. What? Oh. I allocated all the technicians, but I didn't make, I didn't tell it to make one one there we go six days that'll work okay looking good let's kick it in here general stores and Mudduck South is done how does that make us look now Mudduck South transmission resolver we're building a sub pen I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with the way things are let's keep moving 21st of July Manta has arrived I actually do need to Large, very deep, supply cruiser, alien colony, expansion, Mediterranean. Hmm. Hmm. So, we will take this sub on. It's going to be Alpha again, but we're going to go in with our MC Warriors. We're going to let it land. So, okay, here comes the Dreadnought. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> this is the challenge. Oh, geez. So they're gonna set up an alien colony there. Uh, the dreadnought and the supply cruiser are both big indicators. Both of them will land. Which do we want to go after? I think we go after the dreadnought with Alpha. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. So we'll be going after a landed enemy dreadnought with Alpha in our next mission. This will... Okay, so they're both coming to the med. And I think what I need to do is I need to move a couple MC warriors over to Strike Force Bravo so that we have the flexibility of using them in either team. No, no, I can't do that can't do that because bravo is is our guys who are mc weak we don't have to deal with this with the lobster men because they are just uh not a threat mc they don't have any mc attack can't take down both we can shoot down the supply cruiser again we'll lose a bunch of zerbite there's some commanders and there's some there's some alien types on the dreadnought that i want though mm-hmm Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a night mission. Brr. Yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Alright, Manta 2. Shoot down Alien Sub 37, which is our supply cruiser. Brr. Okay. Um, Dreadnought. I'm not going to take on a Dreadnought with my Mantas. They don't have the staying capacity. Oh, <laughs> I'm so 
I'm, I don't want to do a Lobster Man night mission. Okay, guys, we'll take that up in the next episode. If you would like to join the ranks of the XCOM team, please leave a comment below. This episode of Rockin' the Oldies, a retro Let's Play with Ivan Dogovich, has been brought to you by Dogcraft.net, the XCOM subreddit, and SDocMD Plays. Viewers like you make this series possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Ivan Dogovich. Cheers!